Hi, I'm Tom Wentworth, a volunteer with Historic Yates Mill County Park, and I'm working with my colleagues Laura Ketchum and Sam Ray to produce a series of videos about interesting plants in the park. Christmas fern, which you see here, has a scientific name that's a real mouthful. It's called Polysticum acrostichoides, and it's a wintertime favorite, clothing otherwise drab wooded areas with its dark green foliage. Favoring protected slopes and ravines, but also occurring on drier sites, this fern is common and widely distributed throughout eastern North America, ranging from Nova Scotia to northeastern Mexico. Its large size and year-round foliage make it conspicuous at all times of the year, and its common name most likely harks to a time when Christmas holiday greenery had to be gathered in local fields and forests, but when most plants were either leafless or resting below ground. Although the plant is technically an evergreen in the broad sense of the term, each leaf only lives for about one year. New leaves are produced in the spring, unfurling as fiddleheads, and you can see those fiddleheads um, right here, um, when the warmer weather beckons. The existing leaves, which are fully a year old in spring and press firmly against the ground, will turn, soon turn brown and wither away. This is a plant worth watching because it has a most interesting strategy for capturing sunlight for photosynthesis. Throughout the spring, summer, and early fall, the plant holds its leaves upright and each frond here is a single leaf, with many leaflets, or pinny as they're called. Now, photosynthesis is possible at low levels during the summer months, but much sunlight is intercepted by leaves of the trees above. And it's April now, and those trees are just leafing out for us. During the fall, as the deciduous trees overhead shed their leaves, these fronds will remain up, upright until the trees overhead are bare. Its fronds remain upright, thus avoiding being buried by the avalanche of falling canopy leaves. But as the season progresses into winter, Christmas fern relaxes its fronds, allowing them to lie directly upon the newly fallen leaves. Studies have shown that this movement of the fronds enhances photosynthesis which generally proceeds faster in warmer temperatures. On chilly but sunny winter days, the temperature is higher immediately adjacent to the forest floor, where sunlight warms the surface and winds are lighter. By displaying its fronds flat against the ground during winter, the Christmas fern both maximizes light absorption and achieves a warmer microclimate, both advantageous to photosynthesis. Christmas fern is a non-flowering vascular plant, reproducing via microscopic spores released to the wind. But what it lacks in showy flowers, it more than makes up in its display of elegant green foliage in all seasons. Thank you.